The downstream defender is an innovative surface water treatment device developed by Hydro International. The downstream defender uses advanced vortex separation technology to protect the environment by removing pollutants including litter, oils and sediments as part of a sustainable drainage system or SUDS. Every site that a downstream defender protects is different, so regular inspections are needed to monitor and remove pollutants, make sure the unit's working properly and ensure that water is flowing freely. Usually six monthly inspections are recommended with an annual clean-out, but this may vary according to the site conditions. Maintenance schedules can be adjusted accordingly. Before starting inspection or maintenance, ensure that the work area is safe and secure. Maintenance should be carried out by suitably trained and experienced personnel who are familiar with the downstream defender. Check the site plans to confirm the model size and dimensions. The downstream defender is easy and safe to maintain. It's specially designed to be inspected and cleaned out from the surface and there's no need to remove or replace any internal parts. Maintenance for the downstream defender begins with regular inspections to ensure the unit's working efficiently and to observe how quickly sediment and floatables are accumulating. If there is a large amount of litter trapped in the unit, it can be removed at this time, even if a clean-out isn't scheduled. Use a skimmer outside of the dip plate baffle to see how much litter and debris has accumulated. Use a simple probe to determine the level of accumulated solids stored in the sump. If the measured sediment depth is greater than 75% of the maximum depth of the sump, then a clean-out is recommended. After recording how full the sump is and removing all of the larger floating pollutants, standard gully suction equipment can be used to remove remaining floatables and sediment from the downstream defender. Floatable pollutants are skimmed from the top surface of the outer ring and the sediments removed from the base of the unit through the centre shaft. The downstream defender is designed to trap sediments in the sump below the benching skirt an inverted cone which is used to prevent the pollutants from being flushed out of the system during heavy rain. Jetting ensures that all of the accumulated sediment can be reached. The vacuum hose is lowered into the centre of the unit to remove sediment from the base. Continue until as much sediment has been removed as possible. It's not critical to remove everything. After emptying, the internal components should be washed and checked for signs of damage. The unit should be filled with clean water until discharge from the outlet begins. All covers should be securely replaced. We strongly recommend that a log of inspections and maintenance is kept, including where possible photographs of the unit, as well as the volumes of oils, sediments and floatables removed. Contact Hydro's experienced staff for advice on all aspects of inspection and maintenance.